Watch the Middle East because this year alone, just this one year, the entire Middle East area has just simply been turned upside down. It, it started in January with one country of Tunisia and it went from country to country as people rose up against the governments, overthrew governments, and now these, these countries are in turmoil. It is vividly described in Psalms uh, chapter two and verse one. Why is it that the nations are raging? What is it that's going on? And the Middle East especially, you see this raging going on. And now it seems that there is mob control and there are no leaders. But it's not just the Middle East, it's around the world, it's in Africa, it's in Asia, it's around the world. Europe has its own problems. Economically, it seems to be simply be falling apart. And the, th the thing that we're noticing in looking at all of this, that there is no leaders on the scene. Usually there's always been strong world leaders who would rise up for the occasions and, and people would listen to them and follow them. But today there's, there's no strong world leaders and God help us if the present president of the United States is reelected. <laughs> God have mercy upon the United States for the next four years. But we have no strong leaders and of course what we're seeing is the setting of a stage for the Antichrist to come along. And we know that because that's what the Bible tells us. Paul wrote to Timothy and said in the last days there will be terrible times. And we'll get worse and worse until the Antichrist comes on the scene to solve the problem. The reason I, I give that as, as a summary is that for you and I to, to be pillars of righteousness and to display the splendor of God in this day that we live, in a day of violence, in the day of economic problems, in the day when everyone seems to be struggling, for us to display the glory of God is going to be a task for us. In the Acts chapter 17 passage, would you, would you turn over to Acts 17? And there is a, a statement made in this Acts 17 and verse 26. Acts 26, I mean Acts 17 and verse 26. From one man, he, God, made every nation of men that they should inhabit the whole earth and he determined the times set for them and then notice, and the exact place they should live. The exact place they should live. God is a very personal God and he chooses very carefully. Remember he said, you didn't choose me, I chose you. He chooses very carefully people, men and women that he plants in certain places, certain locations. In fact, this translation, the NIV, I'm not sure what this translation says. Yeah, it says the same thing, the last story. The exact places where they should live. Wow. 